You went from being a poor boy to a rich boy in a hurry. Three days of work, now and he you're here. Oh yeah, I, it was a little stressful. Yeah, you, you barely made it back. You know, you, you were sick, you were long in your first one, you were fast in your second one. But we made a lot of money over the last two days. Yeah, it's been great. I was fortunate to be able to ride a great horse. Yeah. Whose horse is it? That's Elton Day's horse. Yeah. What's his name? Smoke. Okay. What, what was the key to the run tonight? What, you knew you had a good steer, but everybody had a good steer. Yeah, the biggest thing was just to get uh, out of the barrier good. And I got a good start and just getting them caught and throwing them down. Okay. What, uh, what does this national championship mean to you? Oh, it's a big honor, huge honor. I mean, you don't get to do this every day. You, you went into the NFR last year, number one dog. The NFR didn't go the way you had planned, but you're, nobody could take a national championship away from you. Oh, no, never. I mean, either, all the greats have done it, you know, so hopefully I can be one of them one day. You're at the California circuit, right? Yep. And because you live in Arizona now, a different circuit, but you that's your home circuit. Yeah, that will always be my home circuit. What, what is the key to coming here out of that circuit? That's a tough circuit. Yeah, it's real tough. We got some great ball augers out there, you know, Billy, Billy Bugnig and Luke Branquino, and, you know, just to be part of it with them guys, it's pretty good. Great. Thank you. Coming in, you've been struggling. Yeah, my winter was real slow, and I hadn't won very much, and I was, I was broke. I mean, I need, I need to win something here. You need to win some money. Yeah. Were you, were you ever thinking about giving up the game? Did you ever think about that? No. Did, did it get to that point? No, I just was gonna have to go home and get, get some money built back up for a little bit and get back out there. So it's gonna keep you on the road now. Yep. I don't have to. I don't even have to think about it now. Are you married? No. Okay, so you don't have to answer to her about all that nope. or where the money goes. Nope. <laughs> have you ever been in that position where you did have to go back home and build up the pot for a while? Man, uh, not really. I, I've been real fortunate. It seems like when I get like this, I usually go and win a bunch. I started out my 2010 year when I made the finals the first time. I left the house with $270 in my pocket and ended up making the finals that year. It's kind of, I like to come, kind of come from behind, you know, it's, it's the fights. Awesome. Pretty awesome. Let's talk about what the emotion feels like. You know, you just cast you know, really big here. It's a big relief. I mean, I can pay my bills finally at least. So what do you do with the voucher for the truck? I don't know yet. The truck probably costs twice that, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, they, you know they do. <laughs> maybe you can sell the voucher. Well, maybe I'll just uh, trade my other truck in or something or sell it and buy another one. $5 or maybe I'll buy a Challenger. You never know. It's it's there's always a bunch of pressure. I mean, you have to do everything all the time. I mean, it's it never stops. You know, like everybody says, it's a mental game. It's a mental game for a rodeo cowboy from the day he leaves home to go rodeo to the last day he's done. I mean, it's. We have to keep our mind in it all year long, so it's it's a real stressful sport to be in. Let's start it off in the team row with Marcus Patagnia. When's the last day that you had one that was this fulfilling? Well, I mean, it was awesome when I won San Antonio and Tucson that same weekend. Um, that was a huge win for me there. You know, and then finishing the year, you know, finishing the year number one last year was was pretty good. I, I struggled at the finals, but... No. Was that 2010 when you did that? No, that was this last year, 2012. And, uh, it was a, it was definitely a, there's, I've had a lot of, I've, I've had a great career. It's been good. I hope it gets better. That is the truth you're talking about.